the next generation of successful people. It is a query for skeptics of 5G. Robert Gordon once wrote that the new economy had to equal the great inventions that constitute what has been called the second industrial revolution. Robert Gordon's argument was that um, those uh, inventions during the um, second industrial revolution have contributed much more to the global economy than uh, post-internet inventions. And those inventions like telephone, light bulb, car, radio, airplane, antibiotics, television, and personal computer have uh, contributed much more to the global economy. But if you look at it critically, post-internet, the, the scientists have con uh, concentrated more on innovation than invention and um, since um, the 70s we've seen inventions few inventions like mobile phone world wide web in 1990s smartphones in 1992 and gps in 1995 and since the invention of gps the world has not recorded any key keystone invention um, that we can hold on to but there have been massive innovation using the internet platform the internet provided huge platform for innovation of things in the internet revolution era, which is between 1960 and uh, um, 2020. Um, but talking about innovation, Professor Clayton Christensen gave three forms of innovation. First is sustaining innovation, which helps the organization to improve its performance and um, keep it keeps your organization afloat and the efficiency of innovation helps you to do more with less and um, cutting costs while maximizing profit uh, while the third form of innovation is the disruptive or market creating innovation which helps your organization to produce simple and affordable products and services create new target market create jobs and it also enables um, sustainable development of the society. 5G, therefore, beyond um, the platform that Internet created, is the greatest disruptive innovation backbone that has happened to our world. It will provide free room for full-scale implementation of Internet of Things, uh, artificial intelligence, augmented or virtual reality, and uh, we'll start seeing massive um, development of the um, auto-driven car or self-driving car, um, smart homes, smart streets, smart offices, and um, massive connectivity of everything um, that can be connected in our world. There will be great breakthrough in back technology using uh, the nanotechnology platform. There will be care for um, HIV AIDS, cancer, for um, diabetes, uh, and all manners of viruses, including coronavirus. And also in the blockchain technology, there will be massive improvement and there will be a great change or disruption in the financial system. And uh, the world will welcome the use of virtual currency as against the fiat uh, uh, money. Um, there will also be massive deployment of the robotics and uh, in the military there will be um, the nano drones and uh, imagine drone flying uh, that is at the atomic state that cannot be that is not visible to um, the eyes uh, like spying drones and so on and so forth so this is these are the things that uh, will thrive on the platform of 5g when the internet was invented in the 1960s, there were so many critics. Even when the World Wide Web was invented in the 1990s, many critics said it will not work. It is evil and it will destroy mankind. Fast forward today, the internet has created the first centibillionaire in the history of humanity and a host of richest and most influential persons in the world. It has been globalization made easy. In the era of 5G, it will be mobilization of everything. You will sit in your office and have meeting with your partner in the United States while you are sitting in Nigeria, and it will have the same effect as if you are sitting in the same room. 
using the power of AR, augmented or virtual reality. So it is the 5G that will determine the next generation titans, those that will accept it early enough and make tremendous use of it, create great, uh, wonderful innovation on that platform, will make great influence in the world in this generation. What greatest change would 5G create in the world? First, we talk about mobilization of everything. I call it MOE. And um, just imagine, it's, it's beyond the mobile phone. Um, it's something like uh, having an in, uh, implant uh, that will control everything, or you can even have a nano uh, machine being injected into your system. And from there, you can control everything. You can control your home while you're in the office, prepare dinner uh, at home, while you're still in the office, um, do so many things in the office while you're at home. And by the time you get to the office, it will be as fresh as um, you wanted it to be. And it will enhance connectivity. There will be high rates of inequality that will happen um, beyond the inequality that the internet created. And uh, there will be um, high alteration in the human capital and alteration in the machine capital. There will be uh, less emphasis on the human capital. There will be massive loss of job because most of the jobs below um, the pyramid will be handled by machines. It's only high skilled job that um, will be required in, in those global organizations. There will be global reduction in population. It will be survival of the fittest. Um, it will be the beginning of the uh, end for fiat money and the global um, adoption of virtual currency. Uh, many intermediaries uh, in the financial system will be cut off. Um, banks have to be careful. Only those banks that adopt this earlier will remain. Um, there will be increase in job in government uh, monitoring and um, new world order in the international politics will emerge. Please don't be deceived. 5G has come to stay. And the earlier you found your own opportunity, the better because more emphasis will be on machine capital deployment than human capital development. There will be massive job loss, especially those that are at the bottom of the pyramid because machines will do those jobs and will do them more efficiently than humans.